15 minute mornings breakfast of champions here we are again with the world's number one problem gambling intervention is santos Rolon jr out of stockton california i hope you got your copy i hope that you're following along this book right here is very simple some in fact somebody would look at the book and say yeah another person would look at this book and ponder and think what you could benefit from spending time reading and meditating. All right, we're uh, almost done here. The remarkable thing, and the link will be below if you wanna get, you get your copy, support this mission, root for the underdog. Let's help young people and older people alike get away from the trap, the deathly trap, the deadly trap of problem gambling. The remarkable thing about asking great questions during your 15 minute mornings is that you can help you keep track of your progress. Develop new ways to do things better and more effectively. Just simply using your mind and thinking. And you don't have to stop there. You can create your own list of questions. There are more great questions out there such as, are you taking enough action? What are you really grateful for today? and so many more. Now, if you're still wondering how the mirror talk ties in, you probably know where I'm heading with this. But if you don't, no worries. I'll spell it out for you. If you want to make if you want to make the question technique work more effectively for you, the best way to do this is to ask questions to yourself in front of the mirror. This will make you feel more confident and make it look like you're giving yourself instructions. Actually, you can give yourself instructions right in front of the mirror. The more you do it, the louder that you do it, the more emotion that you put behind it, the greater the impact and the lasting memory. Because that's what we want also. We want to hear great things, but we want them to stick. Because sometimes we don't have the ability to take action immediately, but if something sticks and we're reminded of it, the opportune time would create it and then we take action. Um, it might feel weird at first, but the reward is promising and magical. There is very deep emotional aspect to this exercise that you will experience as you continue to do it. Routine number three, the visualization technique. Maxwell Maltz, the author of New Cycle Cybernetics mentioned something truly profound. He said, you can't live with a potato mentality. That's not in the book, but he did say that. Let's take a look. Let's take a look together. A human being always acts and feels and performs in accordance with what he imagines to be true about himself and his environment. For imagination sets the goal picture, which our automatic mechanism works on. So some call it the, uh, what is it? The, uh, oh, never mind. Anthony Robbins calls it the, we act or fail to act, not because of will, as is so common to believe, but because of imagination, beliefs, beliefs. I recommend that you read that again and again until it sticks with you. Before we discuss how to perform the visualization technique, let's break Maxwell's words down just a bit. The first thing here is that we act, feel, perform according to our imagination and what we believe to be true about us and our environment. Another thing is that our actions most of the time are driven by the mental picture in our mind. Or could it be that our actions drive the mental picture? I'm beginning to see that actions play a huge role. In fact, uh, you don't need inspiration or motivation you shouldn't depend on inspiration and motivation to take action. You should not. Inspiration and motivation should come after you take action. Then again, we do inspire. We do get inspired. We do get emotionally charged up with some uh, event or a person that speaks to us. And then we take action. But ultimately, that motivation and inspiration will die out unless you keep that fire and you stoke that fire within you. You have to get motivation and inspiration in, on the inside of you. Another thing that is actions most of the time are driven by mental picture of our mind, pardon me, 
Santos loves calling it a mental movie. So if all of this is true, which I believe it is, you already know where to look whenever you're not at peak performance. Sometimes it is difficult to complete a project because of a mental block, a thought of defeat that's playing like a movie in your mind. But the reality is that most of the notions we have about things are not necessarily true. Some people are scared to take action because of a fear of failure and so much more. Either you have a fear of failure or you have a fear of success. They both come re with rewards or consequences. The solution, play yourself a different mental movie. Just like a DVD, you can eject a disc if you don't like it. Think about that. You can eject a disc, right? Picture ejecting a disc out of a, a, a player. It's the same thing in your mind. If you don't like what's going on, if you don't like the vision, if you don't like the behavior, eject your disc find a way this book this book will help you eject your disc the one that's been playing for too long uh, it's overdue uh, replace it with another disc and that's where the visualization technique comes in if you sit down for just for a minute and you just visualize right you did see mental picture a little bit of a mental picture of a device that you push the button eject and it ejects the dvd or the cassette whatever it is in your mind when you close your eyes and you think about that it's it might seem like a little game but the more that you do it the more time that you spend thinking about that the easier it is for you to get rid of uh what's causing your behavior what is leading your behavior what is influencing your behavior because what is influencing now they say the body influences the mind the mind influences the body we're very similar in nature all of us obviously but we're different because of our upbringings and the experiences that we've had you must find yours you must find yourself visualization can help us just like i have to find mine you see i can be around a lot of coaches but ultimately a lot of teachers a lot of mentors but ultimately i have to look inwardly it has to be mine it has to be me and it has to come from uh, visualization can help us remove the bad pictures that are causing mental blocks in our mind and replace them with a new one the best way i practice visualization is to close my eyes in a quiet place a dark place with not too much light and i use my imagination to think about experiences challenges and problems the key is to think solution think solution a lot of experts make this process quite complicated, but I'll try to make it as simply as possible, as possibly as I can. You can pretty much practice visualization in whatever way is best for you, either lying down on your sofa or bed, or sitting down in a quiet place with, with dim lights as I do, or even in a car at night. You don't want to do it too much where there's light because or your senses are sensitive to the things around you. You want to be at a place where your mind, where everything is is shut down and the only thing that it is functioning is you and your mind the colors the the theater the imax what's most important is that you take quiet moment and go into your mind and figure out stuff your mind is like a laboratory sadly not too many people enter theirs and there's a lot of positive tools and fruit and fruitful work that could be performed within your mind just using your mind during visualization you want first you want to first become aware of the mental movie you have been playing yourself. What are the things you're constantly thinking about that's making you lose focus and direction? Have you forgotten or have you often imagined yourself relaxing or having fun when you need to be working? That's interesting. Pleasure is good, but most of the time, the pleasure just distracts us, right? Sometimes it could be a fear of failure or a, or a mental movie about the people that will be disappointed if we don't achieve our goal. Once you're able to capture those wrong notions, it's time to delete them, eject them, if you will, and replace them with better mental pictures. You want to start picturing your goals and see yourself solving these challenges you thought you couldn't solve. That's the fun part. Where do you want to be in the next couple of weeks? Next year picture this how much money you want to earn 
picture this. What are the things you can do to earn that money? When you step into the spotlight by playing a better mental movie, asking questions and pondering, everything changes for you or you begin to change and everything around you begins to change. It's almost like things begin to change around you. No, it's, you're changing. You'll notice that you're happy and excited about taking action, more action on your goal. A major key is repetition in all you do. The more you practice this, the easier it gets and the more loot you find. Loot equals treasure. Because you're no longer reflecting on the wrong things, but reflecting on the right things. And you can practice this five minutes, 10 or 50, or the entire 50 minutes during your breakfast of champions. It's as simple as that. Routine four, cardio. Getting up in the morning to get your body in shape can be one of the most rewarding habits ever. You want to dedicate at least 15 minutes to cardio exercises, just as Richard Branson said. If the body is in good shape, you can do anything you want to do. There's nothing so rewarding as getting, getting that early morning sweat. <laughs> you can do push-ups, planks, or skipping. But whatever you do, you want to push yourself until you are sweating. Or at least you feel your blood... Uh, feel you know when you need to stop and rest it's proven research that exercise can repair brain cells and it also helps to improve your metabolic rate an increase in your metabolic rate equals an increase in your energy even if you don't feel good when you wake up getting that early morning sweat out begins to make you feel better more energetic and happy even if you don't feel good who wants to do something that makes you feel good when you don't feel good that's the key. That's the, the action. Bill Gates spends part of his morning on the treadmill and Richard Branson is engaged in playing table tennis. What will yours be? Devote some time to doing cardio in the morning. It might look simple, but it's truly rewarding. Experts like Tony Robbins spend five minutes on the Osteo Strong Machine. Whatever that is, the Osteo Strong Machine. If you go through the successes of prominent people, one thing stands out. They dedicate part of their morning to doing some amazing exercise that they recognize that it, that it can be truly life-changing. I'm reminded of uh, Jefferson Windows, a guy that took a business from $3 million to $10 million in 10 years. And this guy is fit, man totally fit anyways who knows maybe someday you'll get to meet jefferson or you'll see me in a picture with him my point i recommend you start exercising immediately if you're not doing it already no matter how little amount of time you de dedicate to it it counts and is truly rewarding you need that dopamine that happy hormone you need that chemical being released in your body to get your day going and cardio will help you achieve that Number five, routine, journaling. All right, we're going to get into this. Let me see. We'll probably finish up in the next session, or should we finish up in this section here? Yeah, let's finish up. Routine, number five, journaling. Would it be worth it to call yourself to account every once in a while? Actually, I'm going to finish in the next video. Routine, number five, journaling. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for supporting. Please subscribe, soldier scribe. You're going to get a gift from me. Soldier, uh, thumbs up. Please leave a comment and I will respond. I did fix that. I, was, I haven't been responding to, com to too many comments because of some issues that was going on. We fixed it. So I'll see you at the top on the inside on my very next one. Thank you for reading with me. And remember to get your copy. This is a good little tool book. Your good life is going to come out of a good series of good constant positive reminders. Soldier of Self Mastery here, Santos Rolon Jr., the world's number one problem gambling interventionist at your service.